Alright, so now let's see another use case of the parameters. We can use parameters in the reference line. So we can show in our view a reference line to indicate what is the threshold. Just it makes it more clear where is the cut between red and green. And here we can use our already existing parameter to the threshold in the reference line. Let me show you quickly how we can do that. So now let's go to the analytics pane. And then here we have the option of creating a reference line over here. So let's go and double click on it. And now we have a new window to configure the reference line. There are a lot of options, but now we're going to focus on the parameters. What is really here important is the value of the reference line. So now let's check the option that we can see over here. And as you can see, Tableau here is suggesting the metric. The second one is to create a new parameter. The third one is to choose the already existing parameter. So as you can see, we can create a new parameters exactly in the place that we need it. But for now, it makes really sense to use the same parameter in the reference line. So let's go and select that. And now, as you can see on the right side, we have already a reference line in our view and we have the label of choose threshold. So instead of showing the labels, we're going to show the values of the parameter. In order to do that, we're going to go to the labels and we're going to change this to value. So let's select that. And that's it for now. Let's go and click OK. So as you can see, we are showing now the threshold as a reference line. And if we go and change the value of the 50K, to let's say 10k let's go so now as you can see the user can control everything in the view with their input in the parameter they are changing the calculations as well the reference line it's really cool and professional to have this dynamic on your reports so this is how you can use the value of the parameter inside the reference line all right so that's all for the dynamic reference lines next we will learn how to use parameters in filters